This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Now, should it so be that you don't wish your organization charts to be blue boxes with white text, then we'll need to be able to change the style of the organization chart. So we can change the layout, so how the boxes hang off of each other, and we can change to a different default layout anyway, but now we'd like to change the style, so the style of each of the boxes. So let's use the Italia organization chart large file. Slide two contains my organization chart. We need to make sure we select the chart. So this activates the Smart Art Tools ribbon. And on the design, you'll see there's Smart Art Styles. Now in the Dropbox, I have different styles. And as we move through, you can see that they change in front of your eyes. There are a number of 3D styles. Notice that all of these still retain the blue element. So even though we're going with different 3D layouts, or different shape boxes, that one's got a sort of inner glow. Let's go for the beveled look. We're still blue. If you want to move away from the blue, then we go to change colors, and we have a number of color themes. We've got colorful. You can see that each level is there a different color, and there are different schemes within that colorful option. We have accent one which is various shades of blue. Accent two, which is various shades of red. And three, which is various shades of green. So if we went for colorful and that colorful, picks up its colors from the color scheme. Top level is red, secondary level purple. Third level is a bluey color. And then these fourth level items here, people are an orangey color. Now using the smart art styles, either changing the colors here or the style layouts here, keeps the chart consistent, but you may feel that you wish to change the attributes of just one of the boxes. So say for example, Jane Doe here, the assistant, we'd like her to stand out somehow. Well, if I select her box and then choose the format tab, of the smart art tools i now have some facilities for just editing just her box so for changing the color of her box now nicely over here on the left we have an option to make that one shape go larger so that will make us stand out each click makes the box go bigger or smaller so each box makes the box come down so i could go even smaller than the default or i can change the shape to any other given shape here Notice how that's only affecting the one selected box. I could change her fill. Over here we have shape fill. And we could go for a different fill. And as you move around, it does it in front of you so you can decide the right one. Quite like that goldy color. You can change the shape outline. Go purpley. And the shape effect. So that again is just the one shape. We could have a perspective drop shadow. Now, if you want to affect more than one shape at a time, you can multiple select. So I could click there, shift click the next one, 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 shift click the next one. Anything I now do will affect all six of these boxes. So I could change all of their shape to yellow fill, which is a bit bright. Go slight red. And we'll add some shadow just to the boxes we've selected. So instead of going to design and changing the smart art style here or changing the colors in here, I've actually gone to format and individually selected boxes or multiple selected using shift click if you so wish. And then I can change the boxes to be smaller or larger. I can even change their shape, I can change them into star spangled banners. I can change their color in the fill, their outline, and even add some fancy effects. So bevels, shadows, glows, reflections. Let's add another shadow on the right of our crazy shapes. So once you've actually finished playing around and customizing, your organization chart will look nothing like the original one you added in the first place.